I'm joined with Michael Rowley from Stillwater Critical Minerals here at the Beaver Creek Precious Metals Summit. Michael, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Glad to be here. So something I've been asking uh, our guests uh, this week is uh, what's the buzz been at the conference? I know last year we were here and it felt like uh, most of the people we were talking to seemed actually kind of depressed about uh, the equity markets. And this year there seems to be a lot more excitement. I wouldn't say that it's um, uh, uh, euphoria or anything, but I, I'm, I'm curious when you're going around having conversations uh, with uh, various investors or other companies or colleagues, uh, what's the, the, the sentiment or, or the uh, attitude been like? Sure. The show's been good. I think it's a little smaller this year, but the people that are here are quality, I'm noticing. And the enthusiasm is their big picture. Of course, markets in the short term are languishing, and our whole sector has been particularly beaten down again. Um, the disconnect between what a true valuation could or should be and where we're at now, my company and many others, basically the entire sector, uh, is profound and it's just impossible <laughs> to rationalize. It is turning, and that's the one thing I'll, I'll land on. Um, and I see that here at the show. Gold is at record high. Gold producers are making record profits as a result. Royalty companies are doing well. Money is coming back to the sector. That always leads the way, and juniors always follow. Um, I'm mostly in nickel, PGMs, cobalt, copper. These uh, sometimes a little more geopolitical in nature, but the value is there. You know. And, and it will be recognized. It is just a brutal time to be a shareholder and it takes a lot of patience, but this is probably the time to buy. Uh, time to accumulate the companies you like and wait. So let's talk about Stillwater. What's the high level overview of the company? We have the largest nickel resource in an active US mining district. We have eight other commodities that are listed as critical by the US government. We're very fortunate to have half the Stillwater district alongside Sabanier Stillwater, uh, highest grade palladium platinum mines in the world. That's in Montana? That's in Montana, sorry, yes. Um, it's a wonderfully pro-mining jurisdiction. We're in front of government now. The DOD has confirmed that they need a US supply chain for exactly what we have, particular focus on nickel and cobalt. And we're very happy to be talking with them about providing exactly that supply chain. So uh, what can you tell us about the assets you have? How, how much drilling has been done? What stage are you guys at? Sure. We are an inferred resource, 1.6 billion pounds nickel, copper, cobalt, 3.8 million ounces palladium, platinum, rhodium, and gold. Significant global assets on, on a global basis. Uh, we have Glencore as a 15.4% shareholder, which is important to note. And one board member of six is Glencore's vice president. So. This is real and it's, and it's taking shape very nicely. Um, we are in a producing district. Uh, these resources reside right next to Sabanier's producing mine. So the infrastructure, the pro-mining sentiment is there. Um, and the district has a history of producing critical minerals going back 100 years since before they were critical. So we're in the right place at the right time. What can you tell us about your cap table? You mentioned you have Glencore invested. Stock currently trades around 10 cents, I believe. Uh, what's uh, the uh, average price paid by uh, shareholders and are there any other noteworthy investors? We have uh, Glencore 15.4%. They wrote $7 million Canadian for that. So that puts them just a little above 20 cents Canadian per share. So they've been wonderful to work with. They're very happy with everything they're seeing on the project. Uh, myself, I'm a major shareholder and the board and insiders, people close to us are 20% of the company as well. And my average is probably somewhere around Glencore's, maybe a little bit under that, but uh, right there. So we're all in this for the right reasons. We all have skin in the game and we're all looking for that, that brighter day. Uh, US Global is also a holder, it's brought asset out of Toronto. Um, we have a good uh, share price profile, share profile, um, shareholder profile. How, how did you guys manage to get Glencore uh, in as a strategic investor? Well, it's the quality of the asset. If you want scale in base metals in a producing American, well, actually in North America anywhere, the Stillwater complex is wonderfully underexplored. Uh, we have 61 square kilometers of claim. We own them 100%. For Glencore to cut a $5 million check to secure a 9.9% equity position, that was the first check. That just makes sense. 
you know, that's a really good entry level price. We had other that we were negotiating with, other diversified miners, and we've talked to many others over the years we've had the project. This was the first time that we got a junior friendly deal um, at a premium to market. Okay, so uh, Michael, last question for you. If I am an investor in the company or uh, you, I have you guys on my watch list and I'm uh, following the story, what should I be looking out for over the remainder of the year? Sure. Well, you wouldn't know it from the share price, but we have been very busy <laughs> at site and elsewhere. I've been in Washington, D.C. a lot and recently met again. Um, well, I've now met both senators, both congressmen and the governor um, from Montana. The government funding angle is very real for us. Um, they are recognizing the geopolitical nature of these critical minerals and the U.S. is subsidizing mining like never before. It's really good to see and we are in the right places. Um, looking forward to further news on government grants. Uh, one major upcoming catalyst, um, we, we have rhodium results coming on drill results. After that, um, results of the airborne survey we're flying right now and the good work they're doing with the team. All that drives an updated geology model and the big prize, which is an updated resource estimate. And that's expected later this year. All right. All right. Well, Michael, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Uh, I, I think that any of the uh, U.S. based companies that uh, have big projects, especially being validated by a company like Glencore, says a lot. Uh, so we'll be watching you guys closely. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to do this today. Thank you. Good to see you. Cheers.